YouTube, welcome back to the channel. I'm your host TKK and we are back with another video. I'm actually getting ready to set up production. It's about four in the morning. Production for me to start filming some more video content on me playing some Street Fighter 6. This is my orange diamond. Not what this video is about, but I'm gonna plug this in. You can go ahead and check this content, kind of content out on this channel and on the gaming channel. It is in the title of this video. All right, guys, so we're going to start this video off with full respect. Uh, just seen Vince's video not too long ago. I actually had a couple of different subscribers on a couple of different videos that I posted uh, to, you know, ask me if I've seen it. And I just want to make it clear. I 100 percent support and, and subscribe to Vincent. Um, he's a very technical YouTuber and it's great. Um, in front of us, we've got my Samsung S95C 77 inch. I've had this TV since launch and uh, I've made a many of different contents on it. Um, so if you happen to be new to my channel, you can check it out. I've got a ton of content on this TV and other TVs. I buy these yearly, at least two panels a year is my frequency. Um, in any event, I definitely am gonna look into making my content next year, next TV season, a lot more technical, going into testing things like input latency and so forth. Um, but Vincent definitely kind of leads the pack when it comes down to looking into, you know, the quirks and things like that. So I really appreciate the content. I just want to put that out there um, in the traditional fashion of how I shoot my videos. I'm going to put timestamps down in the description for the talking points. We'll have some different video clip transitions as we discuss his video pretty much. But utilizing my TV that I've owned, um, because as I said, I've owned this TV since infancy. And uh, kind of going over a slew of different things. I'll card in one video right now where I kind of talked about like, you know, the things I didn't like about this TV. And uh, I put it in its most recent update that's available in the United States. Uh, the TV has been great. It's been a, a, a wonderful TV, in my opinion. It is uh, the best TV that I've owned, like holistically. It's just got everything that that's needed. Um, so I want to go into just kind of talking about some of the things that um, I feel like, you know, people might have taken away from his video, which was a review. It was a, a, a review more so as like a personal ownership, you know, outside of like the initial content he done um, where he went to, you know, a facility and kind of tested it out. All right, so just to kind of recap some of the content that was spoken on um, and there was a lot of different things. So I definitely encourage you to check his video out. Um, but to kind of recap what he talked about for the most part was coming down to, you know, question if the TV was nerfed because it does not support 48 gigabytes per second through HDMI. This is, it can only realistically be seen as a flaw for a person that would be gaming. Um, he made it blindingly clear that the, 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 the current generation, I won't even call them next generation, I'll call them the current generation gaming consoles don't even support the full 48 gigabytes um like from a technical perspective he made that much blindingly clear so that if you're console gaming xbox series x or playstation 5 it's not even an opportunity and uh you know he kind of made an asterisk where it could potentially be a part of some issues that some pc gamers have had now as i said in the prior transition and i clipped in the video talking about like you know some issues i've had I'll clip in another video where I updated this thing and, uh, you know, some of the PC issues that I had with this TV, um, they're no longer there. Uh, the firmware update helped some of the issues I had. Some of the issues that I have had and I know some other PC gamers have had have been like related to like some intermittent um, blacking of the screen during certain uh, sequences and things of that sort when you're playing video games. I don't know if it was directly tied to 144 hertz, but as I said, um, with me updating the TV, I don't seem to have those issues. I've had other issues with the TV, issues like not being able to do QHD at 144 hertz. I'm not sure why that's still not a thing, like by default without any kind of custom resolutions or settings. That is not an option for this TV, which I'm confused on, but I have not had any problems with the 4K space at 144 hertz, be it I'm playing something raw native or I'm using deep learning super sample. So we just recently talked about the PC that I'm using on here, 
which features an RTX 4090, I'm sorry, 3090 and RTX 3090 Ti to be specific. Um, I've had as high as a 4090 on here when I initially got the TV, was testing it, but I don't think that I've had any issues outside of the space of um, the blacking out, which again was addressed and fixed seemingly when we got the uh, latest firmware update. All right, so another thing that Vincent kind of spoke on, um, you know, the the 48 gigabytes doesn't appear to be an issue for majority of the content outside of gaming if you're using apple tv blu-ray um that's not a limitation i think what the biggest thing is that it's going to happen for most of the audio video con community those that like to watch the content mostly um the 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 specific brands i love this brand i love that brand it's information that'll be utilized to say that, hey, well, mine's better because it does this or it doesn't do that. There's no proof at all where you can use that to waver as to say that it hinders this TV. Um, this is predominantly a PC used gaming TV. I have no other devices to this thing that are gaming related. I have an Oculus in this room. I don't have a PlayStation in this room. I don't have an Xbox in this room. I put those in my arcade cabinets that was featured in the intro sequence of this video. Um, you know, those are monitors that are 4K 144, but the consoles obviously only go to 120. Um, you know, I use PC gaming in here and I've had no problems, no issues at all um, that lead me to that. So I think we should be really questioning ourselves to understand, you know, what would a full 48 gigabytes uh, per second get us through HDMI. Um, is it a standard that we should have? Hey, yeah, absolutely. I'd be interested in seeing um, if there is a limitation put in place that a software or a firmware update could address, right? Um, because the One Connect box on one of these TVs is a new thing. Certainly that wasn't an option last year on the QD OLED, the S95B. I do have the 90C also from 23 and we know he made that clear that that TV does have full 48. Um, what I can tell you is that the blackout issues that I've had with this TV are the same exact issues literally that I had with the 90C. So that's how I know that, um, you know, it doesn't really come down to that because I've had the same intermittent disconnect screen blacking out playing on the uh, um, gaming PC problems that on the 90C that I've had on this TV and that I've had on the 95B when doing the um, the force overclock to get it to 144 hertz. Not saying that 144 hertz is the issue. Um, just saying that you know it just there seems to be other issues that are more important. I'm not sure. Um, wanted to make this content because uh like i said very juicy topic here um i think the verbiage and how he worded it the thumbnail you know says nerf um definitely sparks the eyes and the ears of uh, viewers like myself and like the the men and women that have uh shared the content with me you know asking me if i've seen it definitely seen it i've uh, been enjoying this tv nightly <laughs> like nightly i love this tv this tv um cannot be replaced by anything um and you guys got to think about it like this is like the first tv of 2023 right um sony's tv probably going to be like the best overall looking you know how wide the margin will be i'm not sure um it'll be lacking gaming features obviously we know some of the port connectivity options aren't going to be there um and i'm looking forward to getting that tv the uh a95l should be coming out we're in July now, almost mid-July. Should be expecting a TV sometime August, possibly. Uh, we'll have content on it, but you know what it will offer us will be a different kind of mix when it comes to this. Certainly not a TV you would go after if you were PC-centric from the gaming side of things, which again, I am. Um, and I know other things about Vincent's video. He talked about not using the S95C as a PC monitor. Um, and some of the details are there. I'm not trying to pick apart every single thing he spoke on. Some great talking points, very well articulated video, production was spot on. Just an overall good watch. Give the video a 10 out of 10. And he definitely gave this TV a solid recommendation. So I wanted to kind of just make this video to address this because there's only going to be more people that see that and who maybe are subscribed to me or watch my content 
that will ask me if I know about it or my thoughts and things of that sort. Um, I don't see it as of any problem, guys. No problem. Now, I'm on this PC not using the latest GPU, but the 3090 Ti is still of one of the higher echelon graphics cards that you could have. And uh, I do game, a fighting game, single player game, multiplayer game, and I've had no issues at all using this thing. I think this is still like the best contender overall. If you can afford it, if you want the space, you want to know that you've got the biggest guy on the block. Um, I picked this over the G3. I owned the G3. I, you know, reverted from having that to the G2. Um, again, the content's on the channel. So if you guys got any questions, anything you'd like to discuss, um, something you feel I've missed. Like I said, I wasn't trying to dissect this entire video, but just wanted to speak more about the part of it that, um, you know, spoke most to how I use it in this gaming, even though I watch this nightly for uh, content. Right? All right, guys, so I'm going to catch y'all on the next one. Peace, God bless, and as I always say, max love.